Hi everyone. Everyone uses Lead Code for preparing for coding interviews, but are you using effectively? Are you able to make progress? Are you seeing improvement while using Lead Code? If not, then this video is for you. In this video, I will be talking about two major strategies that you should follow along with Lead Code so that you start seeing improvement and your performance in coding interviews, your performance in competitive coding competitions automatically improve. If you follow these tips even for just two weeks, you will see a dramatic improvement in your performance. You will see a dramatic improvement in how you are approaching problems and uh, your success rate in online coding tests. So let's start. So when you are using lead code for coding interviews, there are two things that you need to focus on. First is you need to focus on your breadth of knowledge. Okay, breadth of knowledge means basically here that how many different types of problems do you know? Like for example, if I take up a topic, uh, let's say breadth for search for how many different types of breadth for search problems have you seen, right? Now the more types of problems that you have seen, when I say more problems, I mean more types of problems, not more number. Okay, if you solve 20 problems with the same type, it doesn't really matter, right? If you, so to effectively succeed, you need to solve diff 20 different types of problems on let's say breadth for search or let's say 10 different types of problems on binary search. Now to improve your uh, breadth of knowledge, you what you need to do, just go to lead code. This is lead code. Now when you go to lead code's homepage, this first page opens up, which will display all the problems that are there, right? On the platform. Now on this lead code page, uh, it will show the list of topics. So as you can see here, there is a list of topics that is coming here, right? So let's say I pick up a topic. Uh, let's say I pick up binary search tree. Now within binary search tree, there are 40 problems that are there, right? Now obviously I cannot solve all 40 problems end to end, right? So what I will do, I will sort problems based on difficulty level and I will try to go through as many problems as I can. So I will try to mentally solve problems as much as I can, right? Like for example, if I go to range sum of BST, then I go to search in a binary search tree, then I go to increasing order search tree and so on. So I will open all the problems, okay, one by one and I will try to mentally solve them. Mentally solve them in the sense that I will try to figure out the solution for those problems, okay. And figure out means end to end figure out, right, except for typing, except for coding it out, I will end to end figure out the solution. I will mentally or on a piece of paper, I will have to prove that its time complexity will be acceptable, okay, uh, and this problem will be accepted. So if I open this problem, range sum of BST given the root node of binary such and two integers row and I return the sum of values of all the nodes with the values in this inclusive range, right. So I will try to mentally solve this problem and see if I, if I am able to solve it. If yes, I will just verify whether this solution is correct or not by going to discuss tab. Uh, on discuss uh, on on discuss section, uh, you will find a lot of solutions. Or uh, if you don't want to go through the discuss section, you can go to my website also that will have detailed solution for it. So this is so to search for any solution on report on my website, you just have to copy this part. Okay, let me show it. So uh, this URL that you are seeing, this range sum of BST, this is the slug. Just put it on reportech.in slash lead code solutions and then slash and then just put this range sum of BST okay whatever whatever you copy from here and you will get the solution for the problem right along with the implementation in five different languages now what you need to do you just need to verify whether the solution that you're thinking of is that is, is, is that matching what is whatever is given on the website if yes then you have mentally solved the problem okay no need to code it okay at this stage so this way you will improve the breadth of your knowledge right you will go through a topic and you will solve lots and lots of a wide variety of problems based on that, that topic right so it will be really really helpful for you especially this is important uh, when you just have an interview around the corner like let's say you have an interview after three weeks or two weeks and you don't really have time for implementation because uh, when you have and when you have a deadline right that let's say my interview is here after three weeks i don't really have time for implementation i don't have that much time that i go over every problem think about it for 10 minutes and then again i uh, you know, spend 15 20 minutes in coding it. So, that should not be the strategy. So, this is for breadth to improve the breadth of your knowledge. But just improving the breadth of your knowledge is not enough to crack interviews because in interviews or in coding rounds or even in coding tests, you have to implement your solution, right? You need to implement your solution. So, to implement your solution, you need to be good at implementation. So, to do that, what you are going to do, you are going to implement a few of these problems. Like, let's say there are 40 problems which are present. Uh, now you need to solve let's say majority of these 40 problems mentally okay which is doable but to code it let's say you can code out of 40 you can code 10 to 12 problems uh, just to get an idea of how BST is implemented how different algorithms on BST are implemented and to do that it's better to focus on medium and hard level problems especially medium level problems because medium level problems have that sweet spot right 
easy level problems are too easy to implement so you will be able to finish implement implementation with four to five minutes only if your implementation is good but for medium level problems you have to think there will be many cases where you will find that you did an implementation it is working fine but somebody else did a better implementation somebody else did a elegant implementation right like let's say you implemented something in 50 lines this other person implemented in just 20 lines or even 30, uh, 15 lines right so to improve the implementation part you need to implement let's say 25 percent of the problems that you are solving and then once you solve 25 percent of the problems after that you need to look at their alternative implementation right you can even use chat gpt to, so to basically improve your implementation you can go to chat gpt uh, and then type that shorten this implementation or improve this implementation and then you can see that how chat gpt has shortened this implementation and then you can remember those things right that okay this is how i wrote the original code and after shortening it it became like this right so your implementation speed will automatically start becoming fast once you be become good at this so these are the two strategies that you need to do to master lead code for coding interviews improve your breadth improve your coverage so that you have seen a wide variety of problems and second thing is go deep into 25 percent of the problems and implement it and focus on their implementation right focus on how how can i shorten this implementation uh, or if you make let's say if, if there are certain problems where you are unable to implement then just remember what part were you feeling difficulty in right what part were you unable to implement and then when the final solution is there see how the author of that solution has implemented that part right so this will give you a complete overall idea of how to implement any problem and it will improve your both breadth and depth of your knowledge once you have the breadth and depth of your knowledge within no time you will be able to start seeing results and you will be do better in contests you will do better in coding tests you will do better in coding tools so these are my uh, tips to improve your lead code strategy to uh, to make sure that you use lead code effectively for coding tools if you face any other difficulty in using lead code or that or you want any more tips then please let me know in the chat and if you found these tips helpful then also let me know in the chat thank you